warning, you can blow up your engine if you just add stuff without knowing what you are doing and not responsible for your mistakes. Good afternoon everybody, in this video I would like to discuss some basic ideas regarding diesel engine tuning. Another thing worth mentioning is that I would like to focus on the smaller diesel engines like the 1.8 or Volkswagen 1.9. Let's discuss these tuning stages, or stage 1 and stage 2 tunes. Well, basically, stage 1 tune can be added in isolation without requiring any other modifications. I would like to bring up chip tunings or issue remaps as examples. I would highly recommend not to buy eBay tuning boxes or chip tuning kits or whatever the fuck they are selling, because they usually contain two LEDs, one resistor and a switch. A stage 2 tuning usually refers to a group of components that you add to your car to boost its power gains. As example I would like to bring up let's say a catback exhaust and a e ECU remap. Before continuing I would like to say that if you want to modify a diesel car I would highly suggest to choose between Volkswagen, Audi, Seat and Skoda. The reason being, you will find a lot more information, a lot more aftermarket parts and the parts like on Audi and Volkswagen usually are similar or the same. So you can mount let's say a Audi TT brake caliper on a Volkswagen Golf. So let's say you want a little bit of power, like 30% of your engine's capacity. You go for a chip tune or an ECU remap. Usually ECU remaps are better, but I let you choose. Also, this is the best bang for your buck, meaning you get the most power for your money. As example, I will bring up my 2001 TDDI 1.8 liter Ford Focus that has 90 horsepower and if I do a stage 1 or whatever they call it uh, at the ECU remap companies, stage 1 tuning, I can get around 110 to 115 horsepower. I will also get a boost in torque from 200 Nm to 250 Nm. The prices usually range from 100 to 300 euros, well, depends on the company where you do the remapping. This was the easy part. Now comes the part where you need to know a bit more about the diesel engines before you continue. The basic idea with the diesel engines is the fuel ignites from high temperatures that are caused by high compression. Often turbos are used on these engines for a primary compression cycle and also because these engines have exceptionally strong exhaust gases because of high compression. What you can do here is to upgrade the exhaust and the intake so the air entering your engine has an easier path, same with the air or exhaust gases exiting your engine. By doing this you can kinda reach the limit of your fuel injection system but upgrading that I would consider a stage 3 tune. Another thing that I would upgrade if I would do a stage 2 tune is the intercooler. Why? Because usually the intercoolers on the small production diesel cars are really really small, I mean in comparison to let's say AirTech or whatever aftermarket intercoolers that you can see on the internet. But wait a second, what does an intercooler do? And why do I want a bigger one? Well, an intercooler cools the air entering your engine. Why? Primary, because cooler air is more dense, that means it has more oxygen, that means you can burn more fuel. And why is it hot? Because of the turbocharger. Now, if you added all these modifications, you can do an ECU remap that makes the engine work efficient with the new intake and exhaust system. Now, if you still aren't satisfied with your power gains, you can add a bigger turbocharger, you can add bigger injectors, pumps to go with the fuel consumption and other stuff. These also count as stage 2 tunes, but I would kinda put them in a stage 3 category because you can blow up your engine by doing so. Other things that you can do here would be like, I don't know, strengthening the internal components of the engines like the crankshaft or camshafts. 
even adding stronger pistons would be a good idea. Even though these engines have pretty strong internals, but still, you are putting a lot of power into this small engine. Let's say you need some extensive knowledge to poke around with turbos and injectors and fueling systems, so I don't really want to go on uh, this topic. I might be doing another video where I'm going to discuss advanced stage 2 and stage 3 tunes in detail. Make sure to subscribe to not miss that video in case I missed out on some information or I did say something that was incorrect make sure to comment below and let me know where I fucked up. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.